One of the plugins mentioned by you quite a bit in the comments of my videos is Swapper Digital's Gold Clip. In this video you'll learn to understand how it works if you didn't already and by pure coincidence I can give away one copy. Gold Clip does, according to Swapper Digital, quite a few things. It's also 250 bucks. Would you spend that on a plugin? It better be perfect, right? Now, the name Gold Clip already shows what are two of the most essential parts of the plugin. The first is the top tier clipping algorithm. Here's this audio clip. And here's this audio clip with the clipper. Did you hear any difference? Great. If not, here's the difference between the two clips. The difference is a 4 decibel peak reduction done with clipping in Gold Clip. And check the next audio. This is the normal untreated audio with Gold Clip bypassed and keep an eye on this metering for true peak and integrated loudness. The audio now has an integrated loudness of minus 23.5 loves and a true peak of minus 10.95 decibels. Here's Gold Clip. Loudness has dropped a fraction to minus 24 loves integrated, but the true peak dropped with about 6 decibels without sacrificing sound. Quite impressive. Here's a quick AB where I have increased output level of gold clip with 0.6 of a decibel to get the same loudness. Overall, the kick sounds a tad crunchier with Gold Clip with these settings. Considering the amount of clipping going on, this is very good. With the clipper, you have three modes. They all use different knees, so how quickly the clipping kicks in, but there's a lot more going on. Just look at the different harmonics between the soft and medium mode and the absence of harmonics with hard. In this plugin, the Lavery Mark III inspires the classic algorithms and Lavery Savater was used for the modern algorithms. These are not exact emulations, the algorithms are, let's say, inspired by those two hardware units. Just as crucial as the clipper is the gold function, an advanced way to increase loudness without artifacts. Gold is a sort of loudness maximizer, but it works differently than a regular compressor in that it leaves the transients untouched. Classic and modern are the two algorithms to choose from. Modern is best suited for mastering and can add up to 2.5 decibel of loudness, where classic goes up to 6 and sounds more aggressive. Here's classic with a full 2.5 decibel of boost. And let's AB the unprocessed audio with a normal 2.5 decibel output gain boost and the gold boost and pay attention to the snare attack mostly. You 
can hear that with gold clip the overall level does get higher, but the transients don't. Here's the classic algorithm. Let me turn on Unity Gain. This one nicely matches the output level to the incoming audio volume. By the way, Unity Gain in Gold Clip only works with the Gold function. Now, when I enable Clipper to see how far I can get with loudness, I can get up to about minus 6 loss, which is really loud, without compromising sound quality on this audio mix. Now, what's the point of getting this loud? Well, maybe your client wants that. It happens. But it mostly demonstrates that Gold Clip can apply clipping and loudness maximizing transparently. This can help you in all stages of mixes where you have to work with loud transients and need some extra loudness where a limiter could fail. Now, if you want to participate in the giveaway of Gold Clip, you have to fill out the form with the link which is displayed on screen. I have not included it in the description of the video. Even though Swabber Digital is the most valuable player of this video, the video is sponsored by DistroKid. If you need to split the revenue of your releases with multiple collaborators, DistroKid has splits. This enables you to, very simply, split the revenue you make. Add as many collaborators for a release you want and decide how much of the cake they get in percentages. On top of that, you can set recoupments as well. So if you agree on a fixed fee instead of royalties, this is the way to do that. Get 7% off of your first year with DistroKit by using the link in the description. To counter the harshness that could come with clipping, you get the Alchemy Control. This is a very subtle mid to high frequency shelf cut of about 1 decibel. How much gets cut depends on the audio levels. Check out these graphs. You can see that the shelf spans from roughly 2 kHz and up. Even with a 1 decibel dip, this means this will be audible since it spans such a wide frequency range. <laughs> The box tone is a high precision linear phase EQ that emulates the contour of the modern and classic converters where this plugin is inspired by. Modern will impart a high frequency contour and low pass filter. Classic imparts a gentler high frequency contour and low pass filter. Flat doesn't have a contour or low pass filter at all. It is flat and true to the input signal. The plugin shows the incoming audio level and outgoing volume in LUFs. This makes 100% sense when you work in music or broadcast and, and I love this. This is the most transparent clipper I have ever used. And having the gold function to increase the loudness in a transparent way is excellent as well. This whole package is top notch. It is a top contender for best plugin of 2023 for me. If you need a serious tool for mastering and more, check out Gold Clip. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the following video.